Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to make this kid-friendly, budget-loving casserole that guaranteed the whole family is going to love. Let's get started. Okay, and this is what you're gonna need as far as the ingredients. You're gonna need a 16 ounce box of elbow macaroni, a 28 ounce can of whole plum tomatoes, a 10.7 ounce can of tomato soup, eight hot dogs, these are the ones that we like. One large onion, one large green bell pepper, a little bit of olive oil just for sauteing the veggies to soften them up, some dry basil, some salt and pepper, and a 16 ounce can of grated cheese for the topping. Boil the macaroni according to the package, then dice up your pepper and onion, put it in a pan with a little bit of olive oil, just about a tablespoon, not too much. Season with the basil, salt and pepper, and just let it soften up. Mix it around, let it soften up. Then you're gonna take your hot dogs and you're gonna cut them into bite-sized pieces. Whatever bite size is for you, that's how you cut them. Once the peppers and onions have softened up enough to your liking, you're gonna take the hot dogs, put them in with the peppers and onions, and you're just gonna get those nice and toasted up with the peppers and onions until the hot dog's a little bit browned and the pepper is completely soft. Just mix it up, give it a nice stir, and just let it cook for a few minutes. You only need about five, six minutes to let this cook up a little bit. Now, if you like your hot dogs super toasty, then you can let this sit there for 10 minutes, at least on medium heat, to let those hot dogs get nice and golden brown. And while you have the hot dogs, peppers, and onions sauteing in the pan, you want to go grab your casserole dish. You're going to need a big one. This is a four-quart casserole dish or 3.8 liter casserole dish. Um, and you wanna grease the casserole dish. You can use butter to grease the casserole dish. You can use a can of cooking spray and just spray it. I'm just gonna spritz it with some olive oil and just get my little silicone brush and make sure it's all greased up to spread that olive oil. Okay, now here's the fun part. Everything's sauteed. So you're gonna take your can of plum tomatoes, whole plum tomatoes, and you can be civilized and cut them with a knife in pieces, or you can do it the fun way, like I like to do it, and crush the tomatoes with your hand. It's more rustic, it's more fun, and you get uneven pieces of tomato. So every bite in the casserole is different. Warning, when you're squeezing the tomatoes, do it slow and low to the pan because there will be tomato juice squirting everywhere. And you're going to get the rest of that juice at the bottom of the can, pour it in there, your can of tomato soup, give everything a nice mix and let it simmer just for five or six minutes until everything is bubbling, piping hot. You're going to take your boiled macaroni and you're going to mix it all into the pot. You're going to blend everything together because you want everything blended. You want all that macaroni coated in that yummy goodness. And then you're going to pour everything into your greased casserole dish. And this is going to be full. It's going to be full to the top. And it's going to be a heavy casserole to put in the oven. But it's worth it. So pour everything in there. And then what you want to do is you want to take a spoon and you want to make that casserole nice and even to the top of the dish. So just push everything down, get it nice and even, smoothed out because the next step is the most important part of this casserole. It is the most delicious part. You want the top nice and flat because now you're gonna pour a 16 ounce container of grated cheese all over the top. You're covering this, you're making like a nice cheesy crust on the top of this casserole and you're gonna bake it in the oven and the cheese is gonna get nice and browned and delicious. And if you bake it covered, it'll still get browned, but it'll be a little bit softer on top. If you bake it uncovered, then it'll get a little more toasty and a little bit more crunchy and you'll have like a nice cheesy crust on top. We bake it covered, but we've done it where we bake it covered 15 minutes and then uncovered 15 minutes because you're gonna bake it at 350 for 30 minutes. Now, if you're watching your calories and you're watching your sodium and you want to make this a more cost-effective casserole, then you can do a breadcrumb topping instead of the cheese. So after you pour 
the 16 ounce container of grated cheese on top you want to smooth it out you want to make sure it gets all the way to the edges and that you press it down a little bit so it gets nice pressed into the macaroni now put it in the oven at 350 for half an hour you're going to cover it first so cover it you can use foil if you want um, this casserole dish comes with a glass lid so we're just using the lid and voila that just baked covered for 30 minutes and you see how deliciously golden brown that is if you bake it uncovered it'll get even more brown then you're going to get a bowl get a nice big now spoon and you're going to start serving it up it's going to be piping hot it's going to be a nice cheesy topping you're going to get bites of salty bites of sweetness from the tomatoes that you crushed up with your hands it's going to be so good. The soft macaroni. I mean, this is comfort food. This is so warm and comforting. And when it's baking in the oven, the house smells so good. And then you just sit down with a nice bowl of this warm, yummy goodness. It's really, really good. The kids love it. The adults love it. It's easy to make, budget friendly. It's just a really nice casserole to make in the winter and the fall on a nice cold day. Really good. And that's after feeding four people this will feed about eight people this is a big casserole so i hope you give it a try i hope it's something that you love and enjoy and that you add to your list of recipes and bon appetit thanks for watching